Okay, now we're going to come across from a different angle. We're going to hit the top here. This is kind of tricky because we got to take the bottom of the thread drop. Now that is quite a trench. You can tell by how long I sit there and ground, how tall that is. That's, uh, and don't lack far from being, and I'm not exaggerating, about a, a hair under a half inch tall. So here's this big bulge right in the way of the air trying to lift out. So you're cutting the mass. Now we also went into the bottom of the spark plug. I will not come up any on top, although I am going to take a spark plug and test it and see what we got. Because you know what, uh, after going through what I did with the pro comps, I don't take nothing for granted anymore. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's hit the rest of this. came in pretty good. Let's swap sides. Okay, we're going to pull the machinist ridge now on the exhaust side out and pull it into that massive hump, which I pulled it down some from that direction. is switch burrs because uh, we don't use our straight burr for going in there and pulling that big hump. I mean that hump is just awful. Alright, now let's see if I can get in there to this and pull her down level then I'll have to switch. What I'm doing right now is I'm switching to the 3 8 burr to pull her down. Let's go.
okay now that we got the hump we got the edges we're going to go in here with the stone and we're going to pull this in this is one of my favorite things to do i love getting stoned on this so what's that? A lot of you might ask, why not just use a sand roll and do it? A sand roll will not go in there and level the humps and the bumps that your carbide makes. You can always tell if somebody poured it ahead and then went to a polishing wheel because it'll have them little like davits in it. But when you use a stone to go in there and layer it like what I'm doing, it absolutely takes them out and then after this I'll just hit it with about a hundred grit uh, paper on there and then boom it pulls it right in and our chambers are laid Now the stone won't get in there in the corner right next to the valve when you see it, but the paper will. It'll touch that little space and pull all that in. rotate around here. I want to adjust the camera. Sorry about that guys. I should have hit pause but what the hell. Alright now uh, coming on here on the back side really makes a good difference right around this intake valve. Okay, so now we're going to stop off at that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and complete all the combustion chambers in the next area that we're fixing to attack. We're going to take the sonic checker and we're going to go in there and we're going to hit that area of the roof where I went in there and uh, lightly blended and pulled that down. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and complete the chambers and we're going to get back on this. Plus, we're going to finish the trimming on the gasket. Got to make a trip into town tomorrow. I guess I'll get a head gasket and then um, wind up a couple of head bolts to bolt that gasket to it. And then go in there and clean them up for this deal. All right. All for now.